Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I will be turning a 13 pound IKEA doll bed into a luxurious dog sofa bed. This will be a part 1 and a part 2 video. I pop the link to my blog in the description below where you can find a list for all the materials and tools that I use in this tutorial. I opened the box and I followed the instructions to assemble the door bed. Assembled every part of it except the wooden sheet that is the seating area. I left that out and I placed it aside. As you can see here I had two wooden sheets. What I did here is that I placed the sheet on the top of the plywood and I drew it around. Once I had the measurement of it I used the jigsaw to cut it. Now I had two of the same size sheets, one for the back and one for the seating area. I added an extra piece of timber to have support against the headboard. I drilled this piece into the side frames carefully lining up with the bottom timber. play with the foam and the fabric. I started to create the seating cushion, then the back of the sofa. I used the thickest foam I purchased for the bottom part. I grabbed one of the wooden sheets that I had for the seating and placed the foam on the top. I drew the wooden sheet size on the foam and cut up the excess using a handsaw. To them together I used upholstery base cloth and I covered the entire foam from every angle. To make sure everything stays in their place, I secured it with my staple gun. I measured the fabric out for it and repeated the same process. Folded, then stapled the green fabric around the foam. After this, I was done with the bottom part. Now this part was probably the trickiest part of the entire tutorial. I used the other wooden plank that I had left and started measuring. I halved the sides vertically and horizontally, then I halved it again on both sides. Then I picked five places where the lines were crossing each other. Top two, bottom corner and the one in the middle. After that I drilled through it to create five different holes. I measured enough upholstery cloth for the back sheet and covered this entire part using staple gun to secure the cloth in place. I used a screwdriver to poke holes again to make sure that the first holes I created on the wooden sheet were showing all the way through to the top layer.
After that, I measured the green fabric and cut it. I placed it on the back part, then stapled on three sides, leaving one completely open. the same screwdriver to poke holes again to make sure that the first holes I created on the wooden sheet were showing all the way through to the top layer, the green fabric. I wanted to create the Ottoman headboard feature so I bought some same fabric and color buttons as the sofa. I used an old durable slim ribbon that I had left from Christmas and I got it through the button holes. I repeated this process 5 times. Once all my buttons were ready to go on the headboard I used a screwdriver as I do not own an upholstery needle to get the strings through all the layers. If I'm completely honest, it took me a while but I managed to get them where they needed to be. So I knot them and staple them just for extra security. All the buttons were at their place, it was time to close the headboard. To secure everything, I folded the fabric and I stapled all the way around. What I actually missed completely out of this video is that I removed the legs of the bed frame with my handsaw. I had to use a handsaw instead of a jigsaw as I couldn't get to the legs with that. After that, I used sandpaper to stroke the edge of each leg just to make sure it's completely smooth before I moved on to the next step. I found for a really cute small pine molded bun foot for about £8 for all on eBay. It's unfinished pine so it's just perfect to colour it in any shade you want. Now I had two cushion parts done. After this I moved back to the main frame. By now you should all know the basic process of upholstery so I did exactly the same thing all around the frame. Using the slimmest foam I had left, I moved my way around attaching the foam using upholstery base cloth. When it comes to sofas, the first thing pops in my head is a Chesterfield velvet setting. So that was the sort of inspiration for this DIY project. To revamp this wooden bed frame into a cozy sofa, I needed to add foam all around it. Arms, back, the bottom frame itself and of course the seating area. I ordered all different sized upholstery foams again from eBay. I never upholster anything before, so I was completely new to this. So I headed over to Pinterest to tutor myself about upholstery. Found out to attach these foams I needed upholstery base cloth before actually covering everything with the main fabric. So I ordered them from eBay. They are super cheap, I paid about £2 for all of it. 
easy DIY project could have just taken just a few hours to make, but as I ordered less materials as I needed, I had to wait another day to finish it. I will be sharing part 2 of this project, so make sure you subscribe not to miss it. Hope to see you in my next video. Bye!